is up everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls, and we are back with another card opening video. Today, we have a full case of 2019-2020 Upper Deck Buyback. So you've probably seen stuff like this before. It's, it's one of those products where, you know, Upper Deck will go and literally buy back a bunch of cards um, that they previously released and essentially either repack them up if in, in like a nice case thing or um, have the player autograph it so it's a certified autograph. How about that? And then encase it that way and um, put in a product. It's, it sounds kind of lame, but when you see it, you might, you might change your mind. I've never opened any of this. I've never seen anybody open um, any of this year. So, you know, I can't guarantee that it's gonna be good, but I saw the checklist and there's like a chance at the Young Guns cards, which are, you know, always fantastic. Upper Deck um, Canvas cards, which are always really good. And then, you know, guys like Gretzky or McDavid um, will have autos on there. And, you know, obviously the, the odds of us getting one of those is, is pretty low, but there's a ton of good cards and um, I have high hopes for this, which is, you know, I'm maintaining high hopes on this. I opened some of the, I believe it was Black Diamond and um, The Cup, and two of the more high-end um, Upper Deck Hockey products, and I was not impressed. So I, I, I do hope that this is good, and I think it will be. Those cards were just you know, not my favorites, and I tend to, to more like the classics, like the Young Gun cards or the Canvas cards, just from Upper Deck Series 1. And so the fact that these, those are in this um, makes me think that this is gonna be pretty good. So um, let's kind of dive into it. I think you get 10, I think it's 10 boxes in a case. And then within each case is uh, two like little mini cases. I don't understand why products do that, but it must be something about the manufacturing or packing process that makes it better. So within uh, each of these half cases should be five of the buyback boxes and you get um, two cards per box, one like there's a base set um, which are just new cards. So you get one base card and then uh, one buyback card that is encased inside. So we'll put those out and then same deal on the other box. And there's our five more boxes. So yeah, like I said, um, big fan of, whoops. A lot of the cards that you can get in this. Um, and it seems like some of the autos are hand number two, which is, which is always nice. And they're obviously on card, which is a big thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, please leave one and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed. I post a lot of card opening videos and I think they're pretty good. My mom tells me they're good. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into this. We'll move the boxes off screen so I can focus. See, look how quick the autofocus goes and there's nothing else in the background. Much, much better. All right, so this is our first box of Upper Deck Buyback. Hopefully they don't just like spoil a good card right off the bat and it appears they don't, which is nice. So you get your, your base card. Um, here we've got Philip Zadina, buybacks rookie, 24 of 50. Um, so that's cool, they put a top loader and a little upper deck sticker, which is appreciated. That's a, that's a good rookie to get, I think, actually. And let's see what we got. Uh, Mark Stone, upper deck canvas, gold auto, six of 10. That's cool. I really like that. So it's a card that I like. I like the canvas cards. Uh, it's a good player. Um, he's now with the Golden Knights in Vegas. And hand numbered in the same gold he signed it with, six of 10. That's cool. Off to a good start. I, I'm a fan of that. Um, a lot of the, let's actually take a box out of the same case so we, you can kind of get an idea of how these are gonna go. Um, obviously like a young gun rookie of like an established you know, star player would be kind of the thing to get, or, um, you know, Gretzky, obviously, because he's the best to ever do it. But, uh, you know, even just a card like that, where it's hand-numbered, and not every card's an auto, by the way. 
Like they're, they'll just be an encased uh, card in some of these. So um, yeah, so the, the, the base card from before is a shorter print. I think it starts at 199 like this Fabro and um, there's like 50 and then to like 25 or 10 and then there's you know one of ones and stuff like that so pack two this is going to be um kind of a glare nightmare for the uh camera because everything's like in a case and shiny uh so fabro to 199 but it's not too bad and then let's see what we got so another autograph card um uh, and it's going to be a daniel sedin from upper deck portraits signed in silver and hand numbered nine of 20. So I think we're off to a good start. To be honest, I a lot of times, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, I will, um, I'll actually open some of a product first just so I can get an idea. And this is so brand new. This came out um, yesterday, the day I'm recording this. So I haven't had a chance to see like what a great case is, what an okay case is, what a terrible case is. Um, so this is all just based on my feeling. Um, and then I don't think you get an auto in every box. I don't think that's a guarantee. So the fact that we've got two out of the first two is, is great. Um, so another 199 rookie buyback and then another autograph. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe every card is autographed and I'm just giving you guys bad info, but, uh, and I also love how they, they flip it over and this is just like a generic little sheet on the back so they're not spoiling the back of the actual card so let's see what box three is gonna be young guns godette from vancouver eight of 88 hand numbered so that's that's what i'm talking about that's really nice hitting like a mcdavid young gun um autographed would be insane maybe we can uh, get lucky but so far, I'm giving this uh, this product a big thumbs up. I'm I'm enjoying this so far. This is what I was hoping it would be, like, you know, really, really good classic cards that have been, um, you know, autographed in a nice way and hand numbered. I mean, that's really what I was expecting. So Ryan O'Reilly to 199, um, and then another autograph. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe every card is autographed, where I'm just getting insanely lucky. But uh, box four is going to be. Young Guns, Taylor Hall, <laughs> numbered in gold there, 12 of 20. And you can see his autograph off to the side there. So this was uh, Taylor Hall's rookie year, Young Guns. That's a, that's a really nice card. Taylor Hall on the uh, trading block, or at least that was the rumor. But that's a great card. I'm sure the Oilers would love to have that trade back actually. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's cool. That's a really good start. I like this stuff now. I'm so I went from like okay, this is cool. After box one to um, now, my box five, I am I am all in on this stuff, um, which is nice because upper deck was uh, a little disappointing with the high end stuff for a while there. Um, PK Subban is our base. And that's 102 of 199. And then, yep, another autograph. So it's probably every card is a buyback autograph, which I checked out the checklist and I didn't think that that was the case, but let's see what number five is gonna be. <laughs> Look at that. Austin Matthews, hand numbered four of five. You like that? You like that? That's a cool card. Quick, uh, quick math in my head. Uh, this case cost me fourteen fifty, and there's ten. Call it ten cards. Um, so you're looking at, you know, it's not the cheapest thing. Like this isn't like clearly authentic, where you know you can get a box for forty bucks. These are still, um, you know, one hundred and forty five dollars a card, um, which isn't terrible considering the cards we've hit so far. Um, but it's not like I'm gonna, you know go and make like a huge profit. Like, you know, a card like that, Austin Matthews, that's a big hit. Might be a couple hundred bucks, so we did okay on that one. Um, oh, look at this. 
So we've got a number one draft pick with um, a little scratch off there. So I'm wondering if this was, if this product was like already in the works before the draft happened and you get, obviously this would be the Jack Hughes. I'll read, I'll read all of that later to determine exactly what to do with this. But if you get, if you get a Jack Hughes, you know, base card even from this, that would be, that would be awesome. That'd be very cool. So hopefully that's what that is, but I'll have to, I'll read into that and determine. Sometimes I like to do a lot of like informational stuff. Like I won't just like record a video and be like, hey, yeah, this was Jack Hughes, but you know, follow me on Twitter. It's always down in the uh, description. So you should for info if you like these types of videos. And here we got Sebastian Ajo, OPG Platinum, uh, numbered five of five. Really good player with the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, so, so far six boxes in. I have not been disappointed one time with any of these cards. I mean, we haven't hit like a monster, like a, you know, Connor McDavid Young Gun Auto hand numbered, but, um, you know, just, I, I like this a lot. Autographs are on card. They're not these big bulky autographs or uh, big bulky cards with, you know, pieces of, you know, the guy's helmet or stick. And you know, I, I don't get into that. I like, I like the classic cards on card auto hand numbered, all really good stuff. So here's another Fabro. We've hit this base before. Another one. And then our auto is gonna be Sean Monahan. Um, I don't know what this card, oh, it's a die cut. You can just see the, the this part is still in the background. So Sean Monahan, uh, this comes from the set of MVP and then it's been autographed and hand number two, two of 25, if you can see that. And you can also see if you go zoom up real close, if it's gonna wanna zoom that close, that um, this is one of those, you know, real high gloss cards where, um, you know, unfortunately the autograph is kind of like bubbling a little bit because the front of it is so slick. There, you do have those issues with um, a lot of those like super chromey high gloss cards. The trick is actually you rub your finger kind of firmly over it and it kind of takes a little bit of that um, shininess away. It's all the, the tricks that you learn. I remember signing cards and like spring training and stuff and these people would have these huge binders, you know, with cards in it and they would do that. And I would ask, what are you guys doing? And they would say, oh, if you, you know, rub the card, that's not the card, don't worry, that's just the plastic. But if you rub the card with your thumb like that, the, the Sharpie or whatever pen you're using doesn't do that bubbling thing. So, fun fact there for you. Crosby is our uh, base, which is cool. Anything Sid the Kid always goes for a good amount. So this is box eight. It's number eight, we have two more after this. And this one's gonna be Anthony Mantha. Upper Deck Canvas Program of Excellence. So kind of a you know, Team Canada deal going on there. Um, sign in gold, hand numbered 10 of 10. So that's cool. Like even the even the not so great hits in this, I feel like are, are really nice cards. So <laughs> I feel like I, I can't stop raving about this stuff, but after Black Diamond and the Cup, it is, it is nice to see that they really knocked out of the park with, uh, with buyback, because this is cool. Uh, Lundquist is going to be the base, and our auto is box number nine. Jonathan Taves, Fleer Ultra Rookie, number two of ten. And you can see again with that real glossy front, um, how that auto kind of is a little blotchy. So, as much as I'm raving about this stuff, I guess that would be my one qualm, is like, uh, the rep who's taking these cards to uh, to get them signed. Well, either one, don't choose cards, don't buy back cards um, that you know the auto's not gonna um, hang on to very well. And number two, if you are, there is a way around it, but just make sure that the reps know that and, and uh, handle it, because you know, you get those bubbly autos and they're not gonna be not gonna be as nice. Dylan Larkin, 
is our base card. And here we go with our last auto. This is number 10, 10 box case, and it's gonna be Martin Nessus. Nessus, Nekus? I don't even know who this guy is. And I'm a hockey fan, honestly. Um, <laughs> but marquee rookie out of uh, OPG, 13 of 25, gold auto, um, and then hand numbered in gold as well. So they really did a good job on, you know, quality control with this stuff. Um, let's recap the hits. I'll bring them on over. Um, I would say I liked uh, mini case one better than two, but overall they were still both really great. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys like this in the comments and uh, if I can get more of it. So I'm a fan. Okay, we got uh, this guy. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan Taves, Fleer Ultra Rookie, number 2 of 10. We got the Mantha, number 10 of 10. Monahan, 2 of 25. We got the Sebastian Ajo, I like that card a lot, numbered 5 of 5. We got Austin Matthews, 4 of 5, that's sweet. Taylor Hall, Young Guns, number 12 of 20. They actually, they did the gold and he signed it in blue, but you get a pass this time. Godet, 8 of 88. Oh, and he's number 88. Wait, is that how all these are? Oh no, okay. <laughs> Gosh, you're dumb if you didn't realize that all these are numbered to the guy's jersey. Uh, nine of 20, Daniel Sedin, and uh, Mark Stone Canvas, six of 10. So that is our uh, case of Upper Deck Buyback. Big fan, uh, I'd love to open more of this, but let me guys, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, and as always, leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video. See ya.